uh, what's your uh, what's your reaction? I know primaries are kind of a little different monster, but you still got to go through the process. Well, I just am uh, really excited. It, uh, it's a nice, strong vote we're seeing come in for me. It, uh, I think it just shows people know who I am. They trust me. And with this overwhelming vote, uh, it shows Nebraskans have confidence in the job that I'm doing. What's at stake? How do you see it, Senator? What do you mean, what's at stake? In terms of uh, you returning to the Senate. Well, I think, uh, you know, the people of Nebraska know that I I deliver. Um, I'm effective. I have great relationships with Nebraskans all across the state. I, I'm out uh, all the time in the state, and I listen to people. In fact, I just got a bill passed today, and it's on the president's desk right now. Uh, and I worked with law enforcement in Nebraska on it. It's called the Recruit and Retain Act. And it's to help law enforcement, uh, you know, since the pandemic, they've, they've had uh, some issues getting people to apply for, for the job and then to keep them in the job. And so it was just uh, another example of how I work with Nebraskans to figure out solutions to some issues that they're having. So, um, yeah, so that... That's a, a, a great part of the job. It's a very fulfilling part of the job. Nebraskans know that I do listen to them, and I, and I um, am able to work with them and get things done. Are you concerned at all? I was looking at some of the results for the presidential primary here, and I know it's a foregone conclusion with President Trump winning, but in some of the bigger counties, Nikki Haley has been pulling 30% of the vote. Do you think that is just... First off, just what do you make of that? And do you think those voters will come around come November? You know, I don't, um, it's, it's hard to say what's in people's minds when they, when they vote. I can tell you that uh, what I hear is that Joe Biden is not gonna be the choice of most Nebraskans come November. Uh, people understand uh, the negative impacts on their lives. They know that groceries cost more when they go to the store. They know that they can't buy a home now because of the cost. That's the American dream that's, that's gotten out of reach of many, many Nebraskans. Uh, we have chaos in the world. We have a border that's not secure, you know, on and on and on. So when we're looking at a race that it looks like it's going to be between uh, Donald Trump and Joe Biden, I think the choice will be clear with Nebraskans that, that life was better under Donald Trump. The economy was better. The world was a safer place than we're seeing now with Joe Biden. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to get across, Senator? Nope. Just, um, just feeling good and... Um, I want to thank folks for their uh, support. It means a lot. Thank you. Yeah.